All right, we got NF Hope. Let's see what he got. Hope. Yeah, I'm on my way. I'm coming. Don't, don't lose faith in me. I know you've been waiting. I know you've been praying for my soul. Oh. You've been dragging your feet, telling me I'm the reason we're stagnant. 30 years you've been claiming your honesty and promising progress. Well, where is he that? I don't want you to feel like a failure. I know this hurts, but I gave you your chance to deliver. Now it's my turn. Don't get me wrong nature had the great one why this time to give the people something different so without further ado i like to introduce my my album 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 hope what's my definition of success Listening to what your heart says Standing up for what you know is What will everybody else is Talking this up between their legs What's my definition of success? Creating something no one else can Being brave enough to dream big Grinding when you're told to just quit Giving more when you got nothing left It's a person that'll take a chance on Something that we're talking never happen It's a person that can see the bright side Through the dark times when there ain't one They are just to try and gain some credibility so they can feel accepted by a stranger. It's a person that can take the fears in their life and turn them into motivation. It's believing in yourself when no one else does. It's amazing what a little bit of faith can do. If you don't even believe in you, why would you think or expect anybody else that's around you to? I done did things that I regret. I done said things I can't take back. Was a lost soul at a crossroad who had no hope, but I changed that. I spent years of my life. Holding on to things I never should have kept full of hatred Years of my life carrying a lot of baggage that I should have walked away from Years of my life wishing I was someone different looking for some validation Years of my life trying to fill a void pretending I was in They get it Evil, difficult to go through, yes, but beneficial. Some would say having a mental breakdown is a negative thing, which on one hand I agree, but on the other hand, it was the push I needed to get help and start the healing process. See, if I didn't ever hit my bottom, would I be the person that I am today? I don't believe so. I'm a prime example of what happens when you choose to not accept defeat and pressure. Demons took me 30 years to realize that if you want to get the opportunity to be the greatest version of yourself, sometimes you gotta be someone you're not to hear the voice of reason. Having kids will make you really take a step back and look in the mirror, at least for me, that's what it did. I Every day and pick my son up, hold him in my arms and let him know he's loved, loved. Standing by the window questioning if that is ever going to show up, up. Isn't something he's gonna have to worry about, don't get it twisted, that was in a shot. Mama, I forgive you, I just don't want him to grow up thinking that he'll never be enough. 30 years of running, 30 years of searching, 30 years of hurting, 30 years of pain. 30 years of fearful, 30 years of anger, 30 years of empty, 30 years of shame. 30 years of broken, 30 years of anguish, 30 years of hopeless, 30 years of hate. 30 years of never, 30 years of maybe, 30 years of later, 30 years of faith, 30 years of hollow, 30 years of sorrow, 30 years of darkness, 30 years of hate, 30 years of baggage, 30 years of sadness, 30 years of stagnant, 30 years of change, 30 years of patience, 30 years of suffering, 30 years of torment, 30 years of pain, 30 years of bitter, 30 years of lonely, 30 years of pushing everyone away, you'll never revolve, I know I can 
can change. We are not enough. We are not the same. You don't have the heart. You don't have the strength. You don't have the will. You don't have the faith. You'll never be loved. You'll never be saved. Might as well give up. Now running away. You don't have the gun. You're the one afraid. I'm the one in charge. I'm taking the hook. I'm taking the range. Hmm. There's so much to be said. Yeah. So what I do like about NF is his understanding of having these multiple sides of him. You know, I think a lot of people don't realize like we're a combination of different personalities. You know, like even if you just think about the spectrum of emotions, like you're not the same when you're happy um compared to when you're sad or when you're fearful or where you're when you're anxious or when you're calm you know so we have these different emotional states and so i what i like about nf like in the video he's dressed in white he has the map in his hand which represents like how lost he is and then there's another version of nf where he's in all black he's just laughing at himself and he like pushes himself down and he ends up back into into these walls and and then he plays a song from his old album which is you know which is when he was obviously in a darker place and that's why the, it, it pushes him back into this um, it's kind of like a like an auditorium even dungeon like but anyway so he's like within these walls and that's when you're feeling trapped and you're feeling lost and you're kind of he's walking around trying to find himself and eventually he does and he's behind He's behind the, a cell, you know, which also indicates that he doesn't feel free. He's, he's trapped. And what I like about NF is that he, a lot of his songs are like this. It's, it's a song of uh, post-traumatic growth, which is this idea of he's, he's been through a lot. He's been through a lot of trauma. And despite that, he's been able to improve himself and still become the best version of himself despite having all these internal struggles but also not even just internal struggles but you know struggles that he's having with his relationships and i'm assuming within music as well where there's always this doubt of are you good enough but still trying to to push like like you knowing you're good enough you have the confidence but at the same time you also doubt yourself and i think a lot of us struggle with that like we have times where we feel confident and we feel competent in what we're doing and then times where we start to doubt ourselves if we're even good enough for certain things and so i like how he's able to put that into words and obviously put that into music music that's that's good and makes you think about what he's saying but also makes you reflect back on your own life. Mm -hmm. At least that's what it does for me. It does for me as well. And I was just going to add to what you're saying, which is we gravitate towards artists like NF because in a way it's like we're seeing ourselves through his music, through his message. And there's so many things to unravel, like you said earlier. And so with the music video alone in the beginning you see the scene zoom out in the ocean and she, and he's in this i don't I actually don't know what they're called but he's isolated he's on this thing that's really keeping him afloat and like those logs yeah yeah and that's when he talks about you know 30 years of feeling lost and um you know, feeling empty and hollow and, you know, for, for myself, who's in my thirties, it's a lot of self-reflection. And I've heard this from a lot of people when I was in my early twenties, talking to people in their thirties that, you know, it's not until you're 30 that you really start to know yourself, unless you're lucky and you can figure that out early on. But it's, I think part of, the rite of passage when you turn 30, which is really going through your past and realizing, you know, who you are through those experiences in the past, right? And so I love everything that he says. Um, and I really enjoyed how he kind of took us back to his previous music videos 
um, because I do recognize those scenes. And we do that all the time, you know, especially those that are very self-reflective and introspective. We always go back to the past and it's because you have to go back to 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 continue and and um and move forward and i think it's healthy for him to to be able to voice everything that he feels and at the end of the day it's his journey right and so it's so fitting that the the other side of him you know his um, his negative thoughts, maybe the thoughts that constantly bring it, him down. Um, it's interesting that they're wearing a cap that says real. And so we're always thinking that these thoughts are real, these negative thoughts. And in reality, it's it's not true. It's It's really just the way that our minds talk to us you know you can talk to yourself very negatively and it seems like he talks to himself very negatively um and we usually mistake in that for truth which sometimes it's not um and toward the end when he says reigns to me it seemed like he is taking control of his thoughts and having control over your mind and thoughts it's it's a challenge, but um, to me, it seems like he's starting to grasp that for himself. Yeah, I, I agree with that, especially the the self talk portion, because you know I've listened to Anna for a few years, and obviously his his music. What makes his music real is his ability to be vulnerable. He shares a lot of personal thoughts, and a lot of his thoughts. They are negative self-talk, but at the same time, I think he's it's actually rooted in confidence because sometimes when you have negative self-talk, it's negative because you know that you're capable of more. So mm -hmm. it's 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 not like and there's different kinds of negative self-talk. There's like, all right, you're not good enough. And then it creates shame. And then it actually thoughts can become real when you start to believe in them. You know, so when it's negative and you start to feel like, oh, you're not good enough or you doubt yourself or you feel like you're a piece of shit. If you start to believe in them where it starts to impact your actions, then those thoughts actually become real. Where if it's like negative self-talk, but it's rooted in confidence where it's like, oh, like you're not doing that great, but you could do more. You're not doing that great because you're capable of more, which which I think is more of NF's self-talk where it's like it's negative but in a way where it pushes him to be mm -hmm. better, which is something that I resonate with. I have a very negative self-talk, but it's not negative if you're looking at the outcome and mm -hmm. not paying attention to the actual talk, right? Because I think you could measure it by what the outcome is. If the outcome is you're somewhat successful, which is also hard because you, you can have a very successful outcome like NF and still be mentally unwell. And you see that with musicians all the time where they, they have this level of success, but they're not really happy. But they do have their they they have met their goals, but like financial goals and their success, their success in music is probably a goal that they've wanted to reach for a long time. But they're not happy with that. And you can tell someone like NF has gone to therapy because a lot of what a lot of what he's sharing are thoughts that he's thought a lot about but he's he's obviously have grown a lot and to your point about being introspective and self-reflective when you're constantly looking at your past and using your past as a way to measure your present that's a really good way of seeing if you're stagnant or if you've progressed right like if you look at your past and you're still exactly where you're at or you haven't really moved the goalpost is still the same and the thoughts are the same i think it's a good indication like you're, you, you feel stuck and you're kind of stuck and which is something that he's He's kind of said, 30 years you've been dragging your feet, telling me I'm the reason we're stagnant. And I think he's talking to himself where it's like he feels like he's being stagnant. And what 30 years you've been claiming you're honest and promising progress. Well, where where's it at? <laughs> you know, he's very hard on himself, clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and yet it's this same it's this same self-talk that's created the success form, which is a really interesting paradox to me because 
it's weird when you can turn something so negative like trauma and it's the trauma that makes you grow yeah. right that's why there's like that actual term like some people have post-traumatic stress disorder but then some people have post-traumatic growth which is like everyone's affected by trauma differently some people are impacted by trauma and they get stuck and some people are impacted by trauma and they become a better version of themselves through it so it's interesting to think about as we're going through his lyrics i loved the way that he broke down his definition of success um, in two parts i love that he says his definition of success is listening to what his heart says so listening to what our heart says instead of you know what other people want as simple as that is it's so difficult for people to overcome right overcome other people's expectations of us and then the other piece to it is creating something no one else can and being brave enough to dream big grinding when you're told to just quit giving more when you got nothing left oh my gosh like that last piece giving more when you have nothing left like that's i think something that is so powerful to to highlight and it's it's your own measurement right like everyone's measurement of what they're capable of is very different and so that spoke a lot to me um because we've all been so pushed to the edge and we know our limits, but can you imagine like, you know, pushing it further? Yeah. Um, and, you know, he shows it in the music video too. You know, he finally makes it ashore and he also makes it um, up to the top of that, you know, that rock. And so ultimately you're seeing that throughout all this self-doubt he still finds a way to to get through it yeah and even that line that you emphasized about giving more when you have nothing left sometimes like i question if we even know what we're capable of like we mm -hmm. think we're at the edge or we think we have nothing left but you know when you in hindsight when you look back at some of your experiences i think most people have experiences where they thought they had nothing left but then they realize like there's more to them than what they think. Physically, they think there's nothing left, but there actually is. And mentally, they think there's no nothing left. But, you know, like there's there's always room to push a little more. And mm -hmm. I think uh, that that's like a struggle that we have, like trying to figure out how much should we push? Can we push? Like really, where's our ceiling? Because I think mm -hmm. as humans... Like, we don't know what our potential is. I don't even think we have a lifetime to figure that out because you just, you never really know. You know from seeing other people and how far they get. Yeah, yeah. And right. And, and for me, my thinking is like, we're all human. So when I see another human do really well, it makes me think like, well, we are 99% similar genetically. Like yeah. all humans share 99% similarity and, and it's the 1% genetically that makes all the difference which is which is interesting but to, to also see all like to see humans aspire to do great things should make you think about like what you're actually capable of if you push yourself or mm -hmm. if you have the right environment around you where you're being pushed and taught and all that good stuff yeah um yeah but i i love enough because he's yeah, he's very vulnerable, but at the same time, still inspiring. Like he's able to share what he struggles with, but to st to see him struggle and and come out the other side and have the impact that he's had is very admirable, in my opinion. And I'm obviously biased too because I've listened to NF when I was in a really bad headspace, and since his music's kind of helped me out of that, I've always been um, a loyal fan. <laughs> 